So good morning, Rob, John, and the fellow panelists of the day, and our distinguished educators. What I would uh, focus on very quickly is that uh, with a little brief background I must give, because as you know, teacher education, which uh, handles the teacher education institutions and which eventually graduate teachers who eventually teach in schools. That's the council that I represent. And for quite some time under Justice Burma Commission, under the Honorable Supreme Court, um, the teacher education was under transformation. There were serious flaws found out and therefore the commission underlined the indicators and parameters based on which the transformation should take place. I'm still under constant monitoring of the Honorable Apex Court. And uh, November 30 was our last day to submit the new regulations, norms, and standards based on which the new teacher education would start in the country, which uh, we have completed yesterday. So we hope that within a few days we have new gadget notifications of new teacher education. And therefore, I would like to share with you some of these developments and also some of the concerns that we have insofar as quality is concerned. This is what you see is the new pattern that is coming up, that the duration of all teacher education programs almost have been increased, enhanced. We have taken a position that uh, the first degree, like any professional education, should be face-to-face. -face. Any, any in-service training should be open and distance learning. And open and distance learning, we have taken a position that it has to be blended learning. That's the major change that we have, we have done so far. In elementary education, secondary education, teacher educators qualification, we are getting into MED level specialization in elementary and secondary. And within elementary and secondary, we have specialization in curriculum development, information technology, inclusive education, planning and management, and so on and so forth. Um, we're getting into an integrated B.Ed. M.Ed. program of three years, and a B.Ed. part-time of three years. We are introducing for the first time preschool education, because preschool education, the entire credit system in the country, kindergarten and creatures are unregulated. There's no teacher training available, and whatever is available is not recognized by the government as a pre-entry qualification as a teacher educator or as a teacher in the preschool. So therefore, there's a major concern. We had the early childhood care and education. Now the ministry is different, and therefore we got into calling it a diploma in preschool education. We have a lot more engagement. I was talking to Professor Tupati. We have a lot more engagement with uh, NCERT. I'll come to that a little later. We have a national curriculum framework. That's the major, major foundation that we have. We have three programs in physical education. All the durations have been increased. All the Bachelor programs have been now um, three years, and uh, integrated programs are four years. We have a BSc, BEd, BA, BEd integrated would start in excess in of four years duration, and so on and so forth. Art education, visual arts, and performing arts, and open and distance learning. There's a new pattern that is coming up. I'm, I'm, I'm confidently presenting it because yesterday we submitted to the government and to the court, and therefore we would get into. I'm not sure. How, what will be the national reaction to this program. And um, I was just saying that, um, jokingly, maybe we are waiting for a few um, serious court cases in future, maybe, that we will deal with that. But then this is what, and this is under Justice Burma Commission and the FX Court, and therefore we are very confident that we will not get into any trouble. NCTE, um, 1973, under NCERT, it was functioning actually, 1993, we got into the Parliamentary Act. And finally, 1995, we started. Massive developments increase in the number of teacher education institutions, 17,000, more than 17,000. Students, almost 1.2 million or 1.3 million graduates who are graduating. They may not be graduating, but they're getting into the system of the 17,000 plus institutions. Teacher educators are supposed to come out more than 26,000, but we don't have five to 6,000 every year coming out. 
and we have a shortage of teacher educators, especially at the primary and elementary level, and therefore we are focusing next time the Master of Education program should be specialized in elementary education or in secondary or senior secondary education. And we have a study available with us, and therefore we advise states and Indian territories that you must be guided by the demand and supply study that is available with us. Those states which have more supply of teachers in particular category may not invite applications to establish institutions in those states. This is what a new regulation is coming up. Almost everything is new. The regulation means it will be binding on everybody. So through regulations, I must say that we are not an institution and therefore we will not look at the process of teaching learning more critically, more closely as the institutions will do and therefore I will say after, after a while that we are providing enough autonomy, the fourth point, this time we are eliminating all the restrictions that were imposed on, on the universities. We therefore provide all the freedom to the universities to design universities and the SCRTs and the diets of the state departments of education and so as far as elementary and primary education is concerned, that we provide all the opportunities to the universities, but we will have checks and balances, we'll have inspections, we'll have monitoring, and we will have indicators in place that they must follow. But they have all the freedom. And therefore, what we are doing, that we are doing a national curriculum framework for all these. We are not designing a syllabus, we are not imposing anything, we are not even providing a model syllabus. The universities are free to design their cerebrals, to do their teaching learning, do their assessment, whether it is a semester system and an annual system, and finally award their degree. We have taken a position that henceforth not a single institution with a single program will come up. It has to be a composite institution, either a comprehensive institution, either a university or a multi-college institution or a multi-program institution, not a single. So this is a composite institution position that we have taken up and the existing institutions will be provided enough opportunity to move towards and guidelines and hand-holding to move towards composite institutions. Because of the interdisciplinarity, multidisciplinarity that education into and therefore composite is very important and hence both not a single program institution will be announced. We have not increased the duration of the programs. We said that more and more integrated programs would come up. Say for instance a BSc B.Ed or B.A. B.Ed or a B.Ed M.Ed program or a B.L.Ed program, Bachelor of Elementary program, um, Elementary Education which is a four years after plus two integrated program. If you do a, a law graduation in the National Law University, forget about the university teaching departments, you put in after plus two five years. And we are simply saying that you have to, you need to put in at least four years to become a professionally competent teacher and therefore later on as a teacher educator. So therefore the B.Ed duration has been increased to two years and the MED has increased to two years. And, and if there is any complaint, we have a B.Ed and MED are integrated three years. So therefore this is how we have worked out and let's hope that it works. Enough autonomy to universities. Teacher educator qualifications have been very seriously, more critically scrutinized and looked into and worked out. I will not talk about that. It has been a major concern and a serious issue nationally and uh, when it comes up, it will reveal what exactly it is. And we have uh, got into an MOU with the National Assessment Accreditation Council or any other council that NCT would recognize in future. There might be private councils which will be coming up in future, we hope, and we will negotiate with the private councils uh, on our behalf. They will be doing accreditation. Right now, it is National Assessment Accreditation Council, which we have an MOU, like any other college or university, they will be accrediting the teacher education institutions in the country every five years. Those are details of norms and standards of each program. We have now in the basket 15 programs, a wider. We have now a B.Ed. M.Ed. integrated program. We have a B.Ed. part-time program. And uh, many more programs have been added to the basket this time to widen the basket. And therefore, the universities would have choice. Right now, as we see through demand and supply, that uh, um, there has been an overflow or oversupply of the, of, the, of the graduates or the teachers at the B.Ed. level. And therefore, increasing the duration to two years might increase, might enhance the quality, but then that would reduce, maybe, hopefully, that would reduce the pressure on the B.Ed. and we will get into more into primary and elementary education and teacher educator program. 
and through integrated programs. We are told the graduate level teacher education has to be addressed, BSc B.Ed and B.A. B.Ed. We have now reformed curriculum based on NCF and NCFTE 2009. Almost all the curricula are reformed. It has been well defined what we would mean and therefore we would inspect in terms of engagement in learning. There will be interdisciplinarity, compulsory school intensity for the first time. This we have borrowed from the British model, the PGCE, that, uh, because PGC has a two routes. One is an institutional route, the other one is an intensive route. And therefore we decided that at least 25%, if it is a two years BA program, six months of intensive attachment to the school is compulsory. What we have for the first time built into, and that the, those will be matters of details in the curriculum, that ICT has been ser seriously and consciously integrated into the curriculum. That has to be seen. The, the knowledge about the skills about our skills in ICT and using ICT for teaching learning both ways that we have tried to gender, gendered way of teaching. We will have some samples available and in fact NCRT has the whole document available. We, have, we are following NCRT gender document to bring into um, NCTE and teacher education and make it com I would not say compulsory but make it almost compulsory for ICT. <laughs> When I say any word, it will have some meaning, you see, so, so otherwise I have to be very cautious. But we will try our best to ensure that the gender becomes a compulsory part of the curriculum. The teaching learning depends on the universities. Yoga education is going to be compulsory for all teacher education programs in the country. They're just saying if the students have to run in the field, in the schools, why not the teachers and why not teacher educators? So therefore we have consciously brought in physical education and more importantly yoga. This is the Prime Minister's initiative and therefore we're inclusive education and disability. These four components are serious part of the curriculum. Professional ethics and values. I'm not sure the last point, but we're still trying to engage with that. Teaching in context, teaching for context, and teaching through context. There's three things we would like to bring into, into engagement in learning and define categorically in the curriculum. This position that we are taking, that we would do hand-holding with the universities, we see that most of the universities even do not know what is a national curriculum framework. National curriculum framework for teacher education, 2009 and 2005. We have data available with us, and it's a serious issue. We frame curriculum designs, and universities do not implement. In fact, they do not understand what exactly the framework is all about. We propose that this time we will do serious hand-holding with universities and SCRTs and diets to ensure that the new curriculum framework is implemented, and we will be monitoring that. This is the curriculum framework, starting with the graduate attributes and ending up with authentic rubric and assessment and so on and so forth. There's a framework that we have brought into the curriculum. Of course, the universities will be free to, to design the curriculum and the syllabus they would, they would like to do. Talking of serious hand-holding, could, it, could I ask you, Professor Pandey, to, to move towards the end? Of your to, to, to conclude? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, oh, oh. Well, monitoring and quality. We have initiated with the University Grants Commission a refresher for teacher educators, which is a blended program, not full-time. One has to be present face-to-face. -face. One, guided, monitored self-study. Two, activity-based workshops. And three, online projects. These three, or assignments, these three together would constitute a refresher. And I do believe that based on this, the academic staff college refresher program of the University Grants Commission must change. We would have serious inspection, capacity building, and teacher eligibility tests. This is a matter of serious concern, even politically. Politically also, teacher eligibility test is a matter of serious concern. Like last time, only 5% of the Delhi school in-service teachers passed the teacher eligibility test. We are seriously looking at this, and therefore we hope that will be coming out not only for elementary and primary, but also secondary and senior secondary education. Regulations, this is our proposition that we will do. We commit that we will do this. We will do hand-holding, orientation, recognition, monitoring, and accreditation, all put together within our framework of continuing professional development. That's a model that we are developing. We do believe that staff development and action research, and therefore action research, we will start seriously with teacher education, which is lacking, and together contributing to quality. Uh, future possibilities, just one minute, less than a minute. 
We were engaging yesterday with the British Council, dis discovering the, the CPD framework, and we would like to seriously engage. Of course, that is about English language and English language teaching, and English teacher is a serious component of our curriculum exercise and our, our teaching community. Um, CPD framework and pathways, we would like to develop open educational resources. The most of the teacher education institutes and libraries that you visit, and you will be disappointed to see, I must underline, you must be disappointed to see the kinds of books available in the libraries. There is a need to develop, develop, and then declare as open educational resources and teacher education, which are contextual, which are guided, which are scrutinized, and which are authenticated by teacher educators. We'll be developing, hopefully, in collaboration with many agencies and, and, uh, and colleagues, and NCRT more particularly. We would like to develop taxonomy of teacher competencies. We are into the process and hopefully we'll come out with that. Teacher educator qualifications framework. In fact, we have put up to Quality Council of India, NCTE to obtain ISO 9001. We are at the last stage and we hope that we'll be getting as an organization 9001 status from the Quality Council of India, but that will be our beginning. R&D and action research, teacher education and educators network. This is very important, and this has to be transparent, this has to be online, this has to be visible, this has to be in public domain. And we do believe that all institutions and all teacher educators in the country would be made available in the public domain for everybody to see. CPD framework and a continuum, and we're looking at both horizontal and vertical because of our elementary, primary, secondary, senior secondary, art education, physical education, and maybe tomorrow we are getting into seriously yoga education, yoga education, and yoga education institutions in the country, and resources and networks. Thank you very much.